everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Petty John Iron Mark II. This is an enhanced version of the original Petty John Iron, and they've done quite a bit with it. One of the things that they've done is they've greatly enhanced the EQ range of the pedal, and we'll get into that in the demo, but the highs are just absolutely beautiful and musical. Uh, the lows now are actually uh, pre-overdrive, so that really has a lot of effect on the low end as you uh, sweep that in. It sounds really great, and I really appreciate uh, that they did that. Now, uh, overdrive-wise, it has twice the amount of usable gain as compared to uh, the original iron. In the clipping, now instead of having a three-way toggle switch, you actually have a mini uh, potentiometer that's going to allow you to blend between your clipping modes. In this case, it's going to be silicon diode to the left and LED to the right, or any blend uh, in between, which once again just broadens the horizons of uh, the feel and sound of this pedal. Now a new feature is the clean uh, blend or clean mix. It works really great. It basically just allows you if you're looking, say, at a, uh, a mixing console, you would have your overdrive fader, and then right next to that in parallel would be your clean fader, and it allows you to blend in uh, your clean tone, which uh, once again can uh, further enhance uh, just all the tonal varieties, the feel of the pedal, the clarity of the pedal. If you're stacking this pedal, that's a really great feature, and we'll certainly get into that in the demo. They've also added a, uh, instead of just a hardwired uh, true bypass, they have a quiet bypass now, which I prefer. It sounds great. Uh, Voltage-wise, we're all the way up to 36 volts with this pedal, which is really cool, because they're using really high-end op amps in this pedal, and they can safely operate at 36 volts. So why not maximize the potential? So when you plug in a nine volt adapter to this, you're actually gonna get 36 volts. Now, if you're one of the original iron guys that really prefers the 20 volt feel, um, there's an internal switch. You can throw that switch and it'll bring back all that sag and, and feel that you got from running at 20 volts. I preferred it at 36 volts. I love the headroom and the feel. It just sounds really open and, and nice. And there's also an internal switch in here that's going to allow you to switch between asymmetrical style clipping and symmetrical clipping. And we'll, we'll check that out in the demo. It's really cool. Now, I do want you to go to the website and check into this further, but uh, Petty John is doing a lot of really cool custom modifications to this pedal that are options. Um, one of them is an op amp upgrade. Um, it's for the guy that's a full on audiophile that wants a zero compromise deluxe op amp upgrade. Um, I'm sure that's killer. That's an option. Um, you can actually change your high cut caps. I believe there's three to choose from and you can check out which ones uh, you would prefer. Uh, the cap that it comes with is an orange cap, which I think sounds fabulous. It's really smooth and creamy, but you do have other options. Uh, you have a clipping mod, so it comes with silicon diode uh, along with LED clipping, but you can change to either uh, what's called fuzz head, which is germanium style clipping, which is really cool. And there's another type of clipping uh, that they're adding by Nanolog devices called N2. Now I have yet to check that out, but I've heard it's really, really cool. That's gonna give you more of a smooth tube-like feel and sound, so that's a really great thing to check into. And also the way the bypass switch works. You can either get it hardwired uh, true bypass like the original, or you can have uh, the way it comes stock uh, with the quiet bypass. I prefer the quiet bypass, but if you really, really like having a hardwire bypass, by all means, you can have that installed. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into how this thing sounds. Okay, let's get into some sounds. I'm gonna use my Sir Bella head dialed pretty clean, and this is my Sir uh, Classic S Stratocaster single, single hum. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys hear just the guitar into the amp. It'll be just a little bit of grid, but pretty clean. And here is the Petty John Iron Mark II. What you're hearing right now is similar to how I dialed this pedal for the rhythm tones in that performance track. 
Now I'm obviously using a different guitar. This guitar is maybe a little bit brighter, so I can turn the highs down a little bit. Maybe a little bit less drive. Yeah, that sounds pretty close. Now the way it's dialed is, uh, you can see I've got the drive at about two o'clock. I've got the highs at just below uh, noon and the lows are maybe a couple notches below uh, noon. I'm on the silicon dial clipping and I've added some clean to the mix. So I've uh, basically brought clean in in parallel to the overdrive. And I think that's where I want to start because I really liked that control, especially for dialing in uh, rhythm sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll it all the way off. So now we're hearing just the overdrive. Now that sounds great, but I wanted a little bit more clarity and that's where I could start bringing in that clean mix. Hear that clarity in the chord? And it almost brought in a little bit of a bark there too. Now I can turn that up even more. And that sounds killer, but if you wanted to keep the same amount of overdrive in there as well, we can turn up the drive. Now I myself personally am not normally a fan of a mix control, but this one sounds really good. Now what I want to do is show you guys the, uh, the gain range. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, with the drive down quite a bit. With it off, the pedal is super clean. I'm going to start turning it up. Quite a bit more gain there than I was used to in the original uh, iron. Now while I've got the drive up, you can hear that uh, we're getting quite a bit more low end there. And that's where uh, this uh, low end cut comes in really, really handy. It's very musical. So say if that's a little too much low end, we can start backing that off. Or if we wanted to get more thumpy, maybe that 4x12 thump. Now what happens with this is you start really cranking it up. It almost, at least to my ears and the way it feels, it's, it's adding gain to the low end of the uh, overdrive. Now if we turn it up, way up, you can get a little too thumpy, especially at higher gain. But it just depends on uh, your amp combination, uh, you know, as well as how, what guitar you're using, what room you're in. There's a lot of variables there, but this is a very uh, musical low end mix. And I like uh, the fact that it will bring in mids as you back it off as well. So super musical. I'm going to go ahead and leave the drive where it is and let's listen to the uh, the high cut. So that's really musical too. 
um, if I was dialing in, especially neck position tone, I can start using that. Sounds great. Once again, extremely musical. So we've covered the EQ, the drive, and the, the clean mix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it all the way to the drive side uh, with no clean blended so that we can start listening to the clipping. Right now it's on the silicon diode side, so it's all the way over. It's not blended at all with the uh, LED clipping. What I'm going to do is go ahead and sweep it all the way over to the LED side. So I'm hearing a little bit more of a mid presence there. Let me throw it all the way back over to the silicon side. Let's go all the way over to the LED again. A little bit smoother. But here's what we can start doing, is blending the two together. So that's just the silicon. Let me go ahead and put it at noon. That's a really cool tone. We can go all the way over to the LED side again. So there are just a ton of tones in this pedal that can be dialed in quickly and easily. What I do want to show you is the Petty John pedals are really good. They play really nice with other pedals. They stack really well. And though this drive is perfectly fine, the Mark II, uh, Iron Mark II is a standalone. <laughs> It really does uh, sound great with other pedals in front of it. So what I've done is I've still got my, uh, my Chime Mark II out here and I've got it set up just to basically add uh, punch. There's no clipping coming from it. It's just a boost pedal at this point. But I just wanted to show you how well this will take the input from say a boost pedal or other low gain pedals, whatever you have. <laughs> So that's just the Mark II. Now I've added the chime. So this could be your rhythm sound. And then you could hit your boost box into the Mark II, the Iron Mark II, for your solo sound. So it takes pedals really, really well. Now, I've, there's an internal switch in here that I'm going to show you guys uh, just briefly. Um, right now, you're hearing uh, the silicon clipping. Uh, in what's called asymmetrical. I'm going to bump it to symmetrical, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the pedal over. I'm going to hit a chord. I'm going to throw it uh, left and right so that you guys can uh, really get an idea for the difference. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back via the magic of um, the television set. The way you've been hearing this pedal is uh, with asymmetrical clipping. Now, asymmetrical clipping is going to have a little bit more headroom and a little bit less grit. And as I mentioned, that's how we've been listening to it. 
Now, symmetrical clipping is gonna have less headroom, but a little bit more grit. So what I thought I would do is just play and just throw the switch for you. Throw the switch. <laughs> Now, obviously, when I went from asymmetrical to symmetrical, um, there was a, you know, a volume drop, but what we're really getting is less headroom and more grit. I'll throw it back to asymmetrical. Now what I could have done is just thrown the switch over, buttoned everything back up, brought all the levels up, but I was worried that you guys wouldn't really uh, catch the significance of that headroom difference if I matched the volumes. Now obviously if you're gonna keep the pedal in this setting symmetrical, then just turn up the level. <laughs> So it's just another really cool way to dial in the pedal. That's a great feel and, and you might really dig it there. It's certainly a little bit more vintage to me in the way that uh, sounds and feels. Now the switch below that is the, it's a power switch. So it's gonna allow you to go from the really high uh, voltage, 36 volt setting down to 20 volts. If you wanna go down to 20 volts, um, it's gonna be more of a feel thing. This isn't something I can really demonstrate via sound, but you are gonna have a little bit more of that sag effect. Um, so the guys that really love uh, the old version of the irons rejoice because you can still get that same feel uh, if you want it. I personally really like it in the higher uh, voltage setting. It's just more headroom, it's tighter, um, but that is to each his own. So that is the Pettyjohn Iron Mark II. If you've got any questions, go to the Pettyjohn website and check it out. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and we will see you next time.